Good morning, Miss. Morning, morning. How are you? Good. Fine, Miss Boise. Boise, <laughs> <laughs> todo bien. <laughs> a moment to your classmates to come. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning. Welcome. Hey teacher, how are you today? Very good, and you? Ah, uh, yeah, they, <laughs> but I'm sorry, sorry, great. <laughs> great, okay. <Yeah. laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Hmm. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Teacher. Yes. Uh, can you teach one more? In the exercise the Harry Potter. What? <laughs> can I? Can I? No. You teach. Teach. Huh? The exercise in Harry Potter. One more time. Yes. Oh. One more time. I think I, I can. Remember. I think we can do it. Maybe we can do it later. Is that okay? Okay. Maybe we can check the exercise later. All right. Yes. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Hello. Welcome. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to your class. Welcome everybody, I'm really glad to see you here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just checking something, give me a moment. Okay, okay, I have more people here. All right. So we are going to start the class today by having a review of regular, irregular verbs, negative sentences, questions using people past. Okay. We're going to work on this and then we are going to finish the unit number 10 in the book because we need to finish. So we are going to try to advance as much as we can and to start the class. Let's go to this game. It says irregular verbs, past simple. You have to help me to create, to create the word. What is the verb in the past? Went. Went. What is the word spelling? Uh, w. 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 A. A. E-N-N-T, right? 
went. How about say? What is the simple past for say? Said. 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 Wow. 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 Forget, forgot. Forget. Forget. Very good. Forget. Forget. The next one. Have in the past. Had. Had. Irregular verbs, right? Irregular verbs in the past. As you can see, the spelling is completely different. That's why they are called irregular verbs in the past. So we are going to have a full review of simple past over here. And let's get started, okay? Let's start with what I have for you today. So, in the in the present, look at the sentences. Um, Alma, can you help me to read this information, please? Okay. Look at look at the sentences. What is different? Mm -hmm. I play sports all weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes, lo estoy haciendo bien. I I played I played. Soccer with my friends last sat Saturday. It was great. Thank you very much, Alma. So if I ask you, Alma, what is the difference? What 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 is the difference? Oh. What do you notice? It's a simple past. Uh, play it and play it. And play. Played. Played. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Ah, okay. It's in simple past. What else do you notice that is different? Um, sorry, I don't understand this. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. This is the difference, right? The verb. Uh -huh. Also, uh -huh. Yes. And the time expressions, Alma? What about the time expressions? Um, played. Time expressions. Late? 
I play, no sé I play a sport all weekend. The time expression is? Is present. Weekend. Weekend. Oh. Time, time expression, time expression. All weekends. And in the sentence number two, the time expression is? Late. Last Saturday. Exactly. Ah, last Saturday. <laughs> last Saturday is the time expression. So that's how I understand that I am talking about a past event. Time expression. Yesterday, last Saturday, last weekend. Right? So regular okay. verbs. Can you help me, Mariana, to read this information, please? Regular verbs. Hmm? In regular verbs, we use I, ed uh -huh. to form the past tense. They they fly. They play soccer last Saturday. I traveled to Guatemala in my last vacation. My mom cooked some time, something delicious for lunch yesterday. Thank you, vacation. Vacation is the pronunciation. Vacation. Yes. All right. Okay, so look at the sentences. They are in the past, they have regular verbs with ED, and we have time expressions. Last Saturday, my last vacation, yesterday. Because when you are talking the pronunciation of verbs in the past can be a little bit confusing, right? Or you, you may ask, is the person talking in the present or in the past, what? So the time expression is going to help you a lot. Verbs in the past, played, traveled, and cooked. So what do you have to do? Uh, this is what I told you, look, time expressions. When you want to make a question about the past, it's important to use the time expression so the other person understands about the, the time you want to know. So you are gonna, you're gonna say the, que the question, what did you do? And then the time expression. What did you do yesterday? Look, Leonor, can you help me with the examples, please? What did you do yesterday? What did you do last night? What did she do last weekend? What did Sara do two days ago? Correct, thank you. I'm asking you about time. I'm asking you about some activities you did in the past. So if I ask, for example, Jonathan, if I ask you, Jonathan, what did you do yesterday? What's your answer? Uh, I asked to the English, for example. Ah, okay. You studied English. I'm gonna write it. I studied English. Okay, thank you. Byron, what did you do last night? I worked. You worked? Yes. Okay, great. If I ask you, Adam, what did... Do you have a sister? What? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Do you have a sister? Uh, no. Uh, best friend? Yes. Girl, uh, is, is your best friend a girl? <laughs> um, boy. <laughs> <laughs> a boy and girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, what did, what did she do last weekend? Or what did he do last weekend, your best friend? <laughs> uh, I I went I your went friend, to friend. what? It's about your friend. What did your best friend do last weekend? With with two? Uh, I went no no no. I'm sorry. We went okay okay. We went a lunch. We went to. 
to eat lunch. To eat lunch. Ah, okay. Yes. Together. Uh -huh. See sí, together. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, you went yes. you went to eat lunch together. All right. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. I, I, I have the project to be, that's why I was asking. <laughs> if I ask you, Noah, what did Sarah do two days ago? What do you tell me? She visited. Okay. She visited my uncle. She visited my uncle. Very good. Two days ago. Okay. Thank you very much. So I am asking you about some people and the time, the time expression. Look, I am not talking about this morning. I am talking about past events. Yesterday, last night, last weekend, two days ago. Okay, to continue, let's see what we have next. Let me ask you, what did she do last weekend? Last weekend, what did she do? She watched TV last week. Ah, okay. She watched it or she watched? She watched. She watched. She watched. She watched. Ah, okay. She, she watched. watched a movie. Ah, okay. That's right. She watched a movie in her house last weekend. The next one. What did she do last night? Mm. She uh, washed the dishes. She washed the dishes. She washed the dishes. Last night. Washed. 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 Okay. She washed the dishes. The story of my life or my mom washing the dishes. Every night. Oh. It's my story. <laughs> my story too. <laughs> I feel identified with that. The next one. Every day. Every day. Good. After breakfast, lunch, dinner, no, no, no. Okay. What did they do last summer? Look at the kids. They, 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 they went to the beach. Uh -huh, they, they go went to the beach. They go or went? Went. 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 Ah, okay. They went to the beach. Okay. However, in my example, I have the verb. The, ah, I have okay. a regular verb. Ah. It's okay. It's okay because <clears throat> you use they went. That's fine. That's perfect. In this case, because I am practicing the regular verbs, I use traveled. They traveled. To the beach but you can say they went of course that is correct they went to the beach okay so now is your turn what is the simple okay, form the of the following way. verbs write one example that's what i want you to do in this moment write one example using travel play watch wash and cry create your examples and then you are going to share your examples with a partner. Let's do it right now individually. Five minutes. Five minutes oh, for everybody. One example for each verb using simple past. Affirmative sentences, okay? Only affirmative sentences, no negative sentences.
ejemplo. Este que sale acá arriba en rojo sería el ejemplo. Yes, that's an example. You continue with the others if you want to. You continue with travel. Ah, pero cambiándolo a, forma, a, a pasado entonces sería. What? Poniéndolo en pasado. So. Change it. Yes, yes, yes. You are going to use you are going to use it in the past. Give me an example using travel in the past. Okay. Ay, Dios. I don't remember. But the good thing in this activity, Alma, is that these verbs are regular verbs. Regular verbs. Okay? Ah, regular verbs. Regular verbs. You only add ed. Ay, no me acuerdo, no me acuerdo, teacher. Esperen, quiero ver. You don't remember? This, this, this. Uh -huh. Primero voy a poner this. Uh, look at study. Study, studied. Mm -hmm. Study, studied. Example, I studied a lot for my exams yesterday. Vaya, lo que no estoy entendiendo, teacher, eh, eh, que me dice que, que en la pregunta tiene que quedar el verbo en su forma regular. No lo tengo que cambiar a pasado. Yes, you have to change it. You have to change it. Solo tengo que hallar la forma en, en que queda el verbo en esa manera. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ay, that's right. Teacher, I, I have a question. So, question? Is okay. that, it's, only, it's only a sentence or a question? No, no, no. Only the sentence. One affirmative sentence, yes. Thank you. What you did in the chat is correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Watch, watch, look at watch. Sorry, sorry, I mistake. <laughs> no, but very good. good. Again, sir, I yes? have a question. Question? Uh, the sentences, for example, I washed, washed my car to uh -huh. sell last month. Uh, estaría bien. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, I washed my car to sell to sell last month. Last month. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I washed this. my yeah. car. Yeah, correct. Travel, no me acuerdo cómo se llama. I really like the fact that you are trying to speak in English. That's amazing. That's amazing. Practice, practice when you make questions to me. That's great. <laughs> Travel. Teacher, para decir to say. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> For teacher, for say, mm -hmm. eh, que alguien se cayó, como es en inglés. Alguien. Ajá, por ejemplo, va mi vecino se cayó, vaya. All right, let me show you. Some, uh, someone, I'm going to use someone or somebody. Somebody fell down. Ah, okay. Thanks. But, the, but in this case, fell down is is irregular, right? So you you can use. I know you want to use cry in this case, right? Uh -huh. it, it is for example for cry. Cry. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So yes. somebody fell down. You can say my daughter fell down. My son fell down. Okay. Thanks. Okay.
<laughs> okay, bye, don't go. It is Nilsson, let's see. Okay, good. My dreams, T R E A M S. Okay, very good, Oswaldo. Okay, Byron, share your sentences with the class, please. Share, share your sentences with the class. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, um, with the bird travel, he traveled to Guatemala last month. Mm -hmm. With the bird play, I played my guitar yesterday. Watch, we, we watched a movie in the cinema last night. Okay. My brother washed the dishes yesterday <laughs> and cried. I cried yesterday in the class because I don't understand some topics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you didn't understand some topics, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Byron. Thank you so much for sharing your examples. Oswaldo, let's see your examples. Okay. The primera, the first, play. She played basketball when she was a child. Uh, watch. They watched, they watched to the movie E.T. yesterday. Watch. You washed your car in my house last night. Cried. My brother cried when saw the first movie of Pokemon. <laughs> Too sad. <laughs> My brother cried. Look at the spelling of cried. Cried, cried. Look at the spelling. And then, so in this case, you have with my brother cried when he when he saw when he saw the first movie of Pokemon. Okay, Esmeralda, can you share your examples with the class? Read your examples, please. Okay. Hello, Esmeralda. Me escucha? Yeah, yeah, now yes. Uh, I traveled to France last week. I played basketball. Last week, I watched a movie last Saturday. I washed my clothes last Sunday. I cried a lot last night. Very good job. Thank you. Ada, your sentences. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, in travel, I traveled to Guatemala when I am a little girl uh, to play soccer. She, she, she played soccer the last year. My children watched watch TV all day the last weekend. The last week. Okay. Uh, I washed dishes yesterday. Uh, my neighbor cried and somebody fell down. My, okay. So in the last one, what do you want to say, Ada, in the last sentence? My neighbor cried. My neighbor cried. Somebody fell down. What no. do you want to say? Uh, what? He cried. My neighbor cried. Cry fell down. Sería. Lloró porque se cayó. ¿Qué quiere decir? <laughs> sí, se cayó. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Ah, only one, one more correction. If you want, this is for everybody. This only is for one. Everybody. This is for everybody. No, if, if you want to say, cuando yo estaba pequeño, cuando yo era un niño, cuando yo era, era una niña, you are going to say, when I was a little girl, or when I was a little boy. Okay, if you want to say that. Now, in this, uh -huh. sentence, in this sentence, you can say, eh, my neighbor, right, when he fell down. Oh, okay. When he fell down. When, when he fell down. Because you are saying cuando se cayó, o si quiere decir porque se cayó. Because, because he fell down, right? Oh, okay. Somebody, okay. I said somebody because you told me. Cuando alguien se cae, you said, so that's Yes, it's a great, your, your sample. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, that's fine. That's fine. But now, yeah, you you are talking about your neighbor, so you use he or she depends. Right? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ada, for your examples. Let me see another example here. We have more. We have more and more examples. Mariana, your example. What are your examples? Okay. With their travel. I traveled to the Mexi Mexico two years ago. Okay. And play. My brother played the piano last weekend. My family watched TV last night. My sister washed, washed the car yesterday. And I cried when died my dog. Cuando se murió mi perro. When my dog died. Ah, okay. When my dog died. Hi. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Mariana. Thank you. And yeah, that, that's a sad story when your dog died. Sorry about that. Uh, Ir with us, Waldo, did you finish your examples? Hello. Hello. Uh, travel in, I traveled to Costa Rica um, yesterday. Um, I played basketball. Uh, with my friend yesterday, I watched a documentary about the penguins. Okay. And I so. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I watched my clothes yesterday. Uh, cry. She cried when she saw her novels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when she saw her favorite soap opera. <laughs> yes, yes. Great example. <laughs> Great. When you see when you see doramas, you always cry. <laughs> always, always. Okay, thank you so much, Irwin. Very good example. One volunteer to share his or her example. Volunteers, volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Uh -huh. Travel. I travel to London, London, in my London? dream. London, in my dream, in my dream. Okay. <laughs> play it. I play it in PlayStation last night. Last night, in with my friends. Mm. Watch it. I watch it, a documentary of criminal. Watch it. I watch it, the my face in the night. 
wash. Cry. Okay. Cry. My friend cry of for her ex last night. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Abby, the pronunciation, Abby. Repeat with me. Played. Played. Watched. Watch. Uh, so you don't say watch it, but you say watched. Watch it. Watch. The other one, the other one. Washed. Wash. Make the sound of the letter T at the end. Washed. Watch. Okay. And for cry, cry in the past is cried. Cried. Yeah. Okay. Work, work on the pronunciation of verbs in the past. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Avi. Very good job. And we finish with Jonathan. Your examples. I see your examples here. Crepúsculo. Okay, teacher. <laughs> um, travel. Uh, my family and me travel. Travel to the San Bas Beach last Friday. And uh, number two, play. Um, I played my family video game yesterday. And number three is what? Yeah, what? I watch, I watch, what? I watch a very funny video in YouTube the last night. Mm -hmm. um, number four, um, wash. Yeah. I wash my clothes the Saturday, the Thursday night. Thursday night, okay. It finally is number five. Cry. I cry when you see Crepusculo. You cry when you see Crepusculo. The movie? Hey. <laughs> 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 okay. Everybody cries with Crepusculo number one with Twilight. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you so much. Congratulations, guys. Very good job. Your examples are so good and just little details, right? Just little things. So now, now you know how to write the sentence. You need to practice how to talk, how to talk about past events. But this is amazing. Your examples are great. Really, really, really good job really like your examples here. We have other examples here. So Teacher, we are going, yeah? Eh, le voy a leer mis, mis Good examples, esfuerzos. okay? Yes, yeah. yes, do it. No sé si lo es. I traveled in my cars yesterday. No. It's correct. Yes, yes it's correct. Okay. My, my son played basketball Yesterday. <laughs> See? Good. Me yesterday. I love yesterday. Mm -hmm. I watched. I watched. Así sería. <laughs> yeah, very I good. I watched. Watched. I watched. I watched. Um, um, a movie last night. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the pronunciation, the watch, the, the clean, the, the dishes. Ah, wash is similar, similar to watch, but this one is wash. Wash, más alargado, o yeah. sea, sin hacer el the, the difference, the difference is the sound. Alma, uh -huh. in this case is, look at this one, ch, ch, like ch. chespirito. But in this <laughs> case is, ch, ch, like when you have the chicken, ch, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I watch. <laughs> I watched the dishes last night, um, all time. Repeat, repeat, repeat. I washed the dishes last night. I watched the dish last night and all time. <laughs> yeah. Um, y, uh, el último, como digo, el, último the last one. The last the one. Last one is, is difficult. I don't, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. You I can say know. the baby. 
Oh. Right. Ah, casi así lo había puesto. Yeah, that's fine. Sí, es. Solo que yo había puesto, I cried yesterday because my, my daughter is, la, because solo ahí me quedé, my daughter, okay. my daughter is happy day, is happy, y, ¿cómo se dice? Cumplió 15 años. Oh. Ah, ok, because it was my Oh, my well. daughter's birthday. Okay. It was. Because it was. It was. Because it was my daughter's birthday. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good examples, Alma. Good, good, good. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, guys. Don't be afraid to make your examples. Remember that uh, if I see your examples, it's good because I see the corrections and I can help you with those corrections that you need. So in this activity, we practice regular verbs. Studied, we also have played over here. Sorry, we have traveled. We have played right here. Watched, you mentioned your examples washed and cried. So the pronunciation is watched and washed. Watched, washed. It's really similar. <laughs> it's really similar, right? <laughs> yes. But, but of course the context is going to help you because you wash the dishes and you watch TV. So it cannot be the opposite, right? You don't, you don't you don't uh, watch the TV, <laughs> but you watch the TV. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the context, right? Mm -hmm. To continue, let's take a look at the next exercise, the next topic. Well, I have the verbs. What is the simple pass of these verbs? Can you help me with the simple pass of these verbs? Wash. Um, watched. Wash, 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 played, 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 lived, 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 for travel, 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 for plan, planning, planning, Okay. Study. 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 Very good. Study. Study. For watch. 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 It. Watch. 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 No. Watch. 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 Okay. Great. <laughs> watch is watch. Don't say watch it. <laughs> Don't say watch it. That is in Spanish, right? Say watch it, right? That is in Spanish. <laughs> but in English? Watched, 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 studied, right? We have those sounds over here. Help, don't say help, but you say help, help, help. Okay, this is about regular verbs. How about irregular verbs? Oh, and here I have this, the pronunciation one more time, right? This okay. I, I will give you this presentation. <laughs> Presentation later on. Hey guys, take a picture. I will I will send you the presentation, Alma. No worry. I will okay. send you this. Irregular verbs. What happens with irregular verbs? They change the spelling, right? They are completely different. Giselle, can you help me to read the examples, please? Okay. Sorry, sorry. Ah, your microphone. I mute your microphone. Sorry. Giselle, help me with your mic. Okay. Yes. They had soccer game last Saturday. 
I went to Guatemala in my last vacation. My mom bought something delicious for lunch yesterday. Something. Something. Es cierto. Perdón. Sometimes es otra cosa. Sometimes is sometimes I go out. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So here we have examples using irregular verbs. They mm -hmm. have, I went, like when you give me an example, when you gave me an example about the kids, oh, the kids went to the beach, they went to the beach. Went is here, went to Guatemala, and my mom, but, but. So we are but. using the verbs in the past, right? We have to create more examples, okay? Let's do it together. First, let's do it together here. What is the simple past for give? Gave. 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 What is the simple past for go? Went. 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 Okay, amazing. For speak? Spoke. Spoke. Oh, that's right. For buy? Oh, oh. About. Both. 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 Oh. So, get. Got. 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 Have. 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 In for take. Took. 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 Amazing. Took. Amazing. Amazing. So, you already told me, you already told me the verbs in the past, and that is good because some of you recognize this, and that's great. So, now let's work with a partner. If you work individually, it's good, but now work with a partner. Let's create examples. Look at my example with give. Give in the present, but in the past is gave. I gave a present to my mom in her last birthday. Look, I gave a present to my mom. This is my example. Now you, I want you to create more examples, but this time do it with a partner, okay? Don't do it individually. Let's do it with a partner. I'm gonna send this picture. Well, can somebody take the picture, please? And send it to the group. One person. Please, please. Ah, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Let's work in groups and create examples. Go, go, go. Thank you, thank you so much. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> I will send you an invitation to work in groups. 
Hello. Okay. Okay. Um, give is gab. Voy a volver a escribir. Sería como go y one, ¿verdad? O sea, una oración con... Hija, busca. Ah, dale, ajá. Ah, vale, vale. Y yo te puse my family and me, lo que tú dices, went to uh -huh. the mall yesterday. Sí. ¿Cómo? The, the product. product uh, the product of clean... Tú y es Mariana. No. No. Uh -huh. Last night we went to went We bought. We bought. We bought. Oh, sorry. I don't know what to do. So. Yeah, I don't know So. You can talk. You you can talk about a company or a store. For example, the store. The store sold a lot of products. Like in promotion the last weekend, for example. Right. You can talk about. Uh, I saw so so my house last year. My house uh, last month or last, last month. month. Okay. 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 Get got. Bye. Bye. Uh, 
supermercado. Okay. You went to the supermarket yesterday. You went? You went? Oh. Finish, guys. Oh, no teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Yeah. All right, all right. Ajá, porque no, no le entiendo ese contexto que ustedes le están dando. Hello. Pero bueno. Hi, Hi teacher. <laughs> How are you? You finished? Um, no, no yet. No, aún, aún no. No yet. No yet. Yo les había formulado esta, esta oración. What is it? No. Está bien hecha esta oración. The products of clean are sold in the supermarket. Oh, yeah. It's correct. But this is But it is correct. The products are sold. But that sentence is not in the past. It's in the present. Mm -hmm. uh, because they, they they are selling these products, right? You say these products are sold in the present. And maybe in the in the, what is the name of that? Past voice. That is past voice. So in the past. Let's use the same example as well. Use the same sentence. Uh, product Let's was. Change the order. Let's change the order. Can you, can you tell me the sentence again? The product, which product you can? Uh, is the product of clean, clean are sold in the supermarket. Like this, are sold. Like this? Yes, I think. Yes. The yes. Clean. Uh, we're going to change this and we're going to say cleaning. Okay. Cleaning products. Um. Cleaning products are sold in the supermarket. Okay. Perfect. This is in the present. In the past? <laughs> the past. If, we, if I want to use the same no, example, I can say the supermarket. Sold. Sold, uh huh. This market sold the product. Sold a lot of, uh huh. Yeah, sold cleaning products last weekend. Okay. okay. Now <clears throat> is in the past and the in the sentence. It's like a sold, sold in the present is uh, other verbs. In the present, it is the meaning sold. of sold in the present. Sell, uh -huh. sell, sold in the past. But in this in this structure that you are using here, this one over here, are sold. This is an structure in English. And this is mm -hmm. called passive voice. Okay, the sentence okay. in the present, but this is this is a passive voice structure. The active voice is the supermarket. En el caso sería agotados. They are sold. Sales. Sales. Just give me a moment. Sales. Same products. Products. This is the sentence in the present, right? The supermarket sells cleaning products. But then this is in the present too, but it's passive point. Maybe I ask you, Oswaldo. Hey, Oswaldo. Where can I find cleaning products? And then you tell me, oh, cleaning products are sold in the supermarket. Go, go to the supermarket. They have. Like an uh, offer. Like an offer, uh -huh. or you focus on the cleaning products. You focus on this. And in the sentence number one, I focus on the supermarket. Yeah, but this is an instructor, a, a, an instructor of 
passive voice, right? And the meaning is, son vendidos. In the first example, venden. And in this example, the supermarket sold, vendieron. Vendieron. Mm, vendieron. Uh, yeah. That would be that that would be the difference, right? Between our sold and sold. Okay. Okay. So uh, do you understand this? Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. Yeah, for, for the moment this, this is just context, Yeah, it's a little bit different. It's in the present, but the situation or what you focus on is different here. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, let me go to another group. <coughs> we will see you later. Did you finish, guys? Ready, ready to share your examples? Faltan algunos. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine, no problem. Teacher, sorry. What is the difference in in the got and get? I don't understand this. The difference between get and got. And got. No, no, no. Eh, es que como eres, <coughs> en eres la traducción hablando. quieres saber. Uh -huh. Alma. Ah, the meaning. And the mm, in the present, get means conseguir. Uh -huh. In the past, conseguimos, consiguieron. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, me <laughs> equivoqué. Es que yo estoy confundido. <laughs> yo... Sorry, la terminé de confundir más. Oh, no, yes. yo pensé que eran oh. fueron. Y, ay, no. Entonces fueron. es conseguir, piche. Got. Yes. Consiguieron. Yes. Ah, oh, ok. Thanks. It's like, you know, get has a lot of meanings. Many, a lot of meanings. So it depends. If you say, for example, I got... I got a present, I got a present in my birthday party. Then in that mm. context, you, the meaning is mm, me dieron, no es conseguí, sino me dieron. Me dieron un regalo para mi cumpleaños. I got a present for my birthday. Or uh, we have a lot of phrasal verbs, for example, get up, get up. In that case, no es conseguir, right? Get mm -hmm. up means levantarse. So, me levanté temprano. I got up early. Right, I got up. So, okay. it, depends. it depends on the expression because there are a lot of phrasal verbs with get. 
but the, the, the original meaning like that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ah, mejor oh. que preguntamos, Ada. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In Mariana's group, what are your examples, girls? Mariana, Beatriz, and Jamie. <coughs> Okay, tres, tres y dos vamos a decir. Three, three and two. En inglés, en inglés, Okay. Uh, my grandfather gave me a present yesterday. Um, I went to the mount last weekend. Y my cousin spoke about English class last night. Okay. And Jami? No, he activated the microphone. Uh -huh. She sold a car last year. She got great. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Great. Great. She got great. He bought some vegetables yesterday. Okay. Yes, Thank you. Mm, yeah. My mom had to cell phone, but home is broken. My sister took an English course. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mariana, Beatriz, and Jamilet. Good example. Oh, Mariana, just the pronunciation. Give in the past is gave. 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 Gave me. Gave me. Exactly. Gave. Okay. Thank gave you. Gave me a present. Gave me a gift. Yeah. Okay. Group number two. Byron, Nicole, and Eden Nilsson. What are your examples? <sighs> so, um, for example, um, the students went to the school because they need to do a homework. And the next one, my mother bought a new skirt last weekend. Mm. Uh, uh, Let me show you the screen. Continue. Continue, continue, okay. yes. Okay. And I got a new computer last Friday. Tara sold her house because she sell a new house in Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Ed Nilsson spoke English and French fluently. My best friend had a old car. They took an English exam yesterday. They took. They took. 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 Ah, okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your examples. Very good job. The next group, Edwin, Giovanni, and Mercy. Okay, I I start. Okay. Uh, I went to the park last night. Uh, my friend spoke with my parents last week. Mm -hmm. I bought two jeans in the mall. I sold my phone uh, because I need move. I need money. Okay. I got my new cell or phone. Pardon. Mm -hmm. You got a new phone. Uh, okay. Good. I had an important meeting last week. Mm -hmm. I took English class last month. Excellent. Thank you very much. 
very good examples and something common, right? Really, really common. And let me see. Marian, eh, Maria Leonor, Leonor's group. Sorry, Leonor's group, your turn. Leonor, you are alone. Eh? I'm alone. There is no Rebecca. Your partners are not here. No, Rebecca is not here. Rebecca and Rina. No. Okay. Uh, I gave a roses bouquet to my mom. For, to my mom for my for Mother Day last year. Mm -hmm. We went to the park last weekend. She spoke in the oral presentation very well yesterday. Rina bought a pair of pants last week. Oh, I Esmeralda saw... is here. Hola. Esmeralda is here. Esmeralda, Esmeralda. She wants to share the other Are you here? Sí. Uh -huh. Puedes seguir con el verbo ser. Can you continue? Okay. I saw my house last month. My mom got a cake for my birthday. birthday. No sé si va a seguir Rebeca. Rebeca, Rebeca, Rebeca. Hola. Hola, Rebeca. Hola. Hola, hola. Sorry, otra vez. Pero qué pasó? Continue. Continue es que with the sample. De okay, es que don't de worry. Have. Don't worry, Rebecca. You can we continue. Have. Esmeralda with have and take. Okay. Uh, I had appointment yesterday in East. Rebecca taught English class last month. Okay. Took. She took English classes the last month. Okay, Noah, Noah, Dennis, and Katia. Thank you, thank you, girls. Now, Noah, Dennis, and Katia, what are your examples? Okay. I gave two t shirts to my little brother last week. Uh, you went to the supermarket today. She spoke in the concert last night. Very good. Continue, Dennis. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, she bought a red car last year. Mm -hmm. I sold my wife to a friend last night. Very good. Katia, do you have examples with get, have, and take? Hello, Katia. Perdón, tenía apagado el micrófono. Okay. Okay. Um, tengo, teacher, este, lo que logré hacer. Bueno, okay. hice algunos diferentes de eso, mm -hmm. que es de arriba para, desde abajo para arriba, que es al de pupusas were sold at my aunt's house. Mm -hmm. eh, the boat is my mother boat cleaning supplies for a home. Okay. And the spoke the spoken? Yeah. She yeah. spoke at the last concert and many people listened to her. Okay. Spock. Um, Spock. Spock. Yeah. Spock and the people listened. Listened to him. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Spoke okay. And Spock and listened. Thank you, Katia, Dennis, and Noah. Very good job. Giselle, Abigail, and Jonathan. How about your example? Okay. Eh, no nos pusimos de acuerdo. ¿Quién diría los primeros? Yo leo pero... las últimas tres, si quiero. Oh, okay. okay, yo los segundos tres. Okay. <laughs> los oh, primeros no. tres, perdón. One, two, and three. Vaya. 
Entonces sería el 1, 2 y 3. Abigail diría el 4, el 5. Y yo no están los últimos 3, 6, 7 y 8. Ok, I have a dog to my daughter. My family and me, we went to the mall yesterday. Me went, perdón, to the we mall went. yesterday. Uh -huh. We spoke about our family yesterday. Okay. Abigail? Continue, Abigail. Uh, my mother uh, bought a bullet to travel emerging emer emer uh, my father sold a car okay my best friend got a backup for study in the USA yes. I had to travel to Mexico for work last year Mm -hmm. I took English lesson a month ago. Okay. okay. Very good. Got a scholarship, you mean? Una, ah, a visa, a visa, you said. Got a visa. Mm, no, beca. 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 Ah, okay. A scholarship. Yes. Okay. Thank you, guys. Number seven, Ada, Alma, and Oswaldo. What are your examples? Uh, no sé quién va a comenzar. You, uh, let's see, Ada, you the three. Ada, give, go, and speak. Uh, Alma, buy, sell, and get. And Oswaldo, have and take. Uh, went, uh, we went to the mountain last year. I spoke in public in my in my school yesterday. Um, Oswaldo bought a new t-shirt last week. Okay. You Alma continue. Alma Alma left. Okay, continue Oswaldo. The supermarket sold cleaning products last weekend. Mm -hmm. She got she got the park to the park yesterday. Okay. Uh, they had an apartment in New York City. And the last two. Yep. Okay. He took he took French classes the last month. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Alma, hello. Where were you? Hi. No. <laughs> es que estaba viendo los ejemplos, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Y como tenía muchas dudas, entonces no, no, no los hice en, or en orden. Okay, so you have different examples. Yes. Ah, okay, your examples are... Okay, Alma, give me your examples in the chat. Okay, give teacher. me examples in the chat and I will check them. Yes, teacher. Sorry, eh, intento entrar de otro dispositivo. Ah, no, ya me dio chance. <laughs> Gracias. Yes, yes, you're here. Okay, <laughs> okay, guys. So, with this activity, we practice uh, verbs in the past, right? Regular and irregular verb. That's what I wanted to study with you. Regular and irregular verbs in the past. Uh, to, yeah, tomorrow we are going to study negatives, okay? Negative sentences and questions. So we are going to go again, we are going to study again the simple past form of the verb with all of the forms, affirmative, negative, and questions. And tomorrow we continue with negative and questions because we also need to work in some activities in the book. So we are going to omit this topic for a moment. We are going to uh, stop here with simple present, with simple past, sorry. And we are going to work on the book. I want to show you this. Congratulations, right? That is the expression that we have here in the book. 
Let me share my screen. Look at this. Congratulations. What is the situation in which you say congratulations? When do you say congratulations? When, in which moment? Any idea? Graduation. Okay. In the good job. Graduation. Graduation. Get married. When you get married. married. Uh -huh. And birthday. Having a birthday. birthday. Yes. birthday. Correct. In those kind of situations, when you are happy, right? When you're happy for the other person. When you pass an exam. When you pass an exam, yes. You pass a difficult <laughs> exam. Or when your kids, when your kids have a good grade in the school. Oh, baby, congratulations. Mm. You deserve an ice cream or something like that. Or, yeah, we can go to the movies. That's what you do. So that is what we have in this part of the book. Appropriate responses. Or imagine that I say, I, I feel terrible. And, you're, and you look at me and say nothing. It's like, mm, you don't care. It can be like, you don't care. Or it's not important for you what I say, right? So... Here, what we have is appropriate responses. Suggestion, of course, right? Suggestion. So it says over here, can you help me, please? Um, information. Help me. Conversation, strategy, and instruction A. Help me, please. Conversation, strategy. Uh, appropriate response. Make the question and the expression. Which expression can you see when someone? Uh, number one, pass, pass a test. Pass a yes. test? Uh -huh. que, the question is? Uh, uh, good for you. Good They're for ready. you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Has to take a test tomorrow. And the situation. What is the best response? Uh -huh. Let's do, it uh, Let's do it together. I don't know. <laughs> uh, continue uh, with number three and number four. When, uh, number three, file a test. Mm -hmm. Number like four, that. got an A on a test. Thank a you. Test. Thank you. Thank oh. you. So here on the left, we have the situations. And on the right, we have the possible responses to these situations. If you pass a test, you can say, hey, good for you. If you have, if you have to take an exam, if you, if you have to take a test tomorrow, what is the answer that you use? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yes, the exam is tomorrow and you are like, ay, the pies, the pies is tomorrow. I am left <laughs> I am really worried. I studied so much. So you, your response is, good luck. You can do it. You can do it, right? Good luck. The next one. When you fail an exam. I am sorry. To I'm sorry, sorry, to sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, right? You fail a test. And the last one, you got a eight on a test. You got a 10 on a test. Congratulations. 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 Of course, here, congratulations. That's right. So these are some possible responses, right? To every situation that we have here. And that's the suggested topic in the lesson C. When we give some comments, when we make some comments, let's listen to these short conversations so you can see the different answers. Page 102. Lesson C. Congratulations. 1. Conversation strategy. Appropriate responses. B. Listen. Which conversations are about good news? Which are about bad news? 1. Thank goodness it's Friday. Yeah, 
I'm exhausted. Me too. I had a cold all week. You did? I'm sorry to hear that. Two. So how did your interview at the hospital go? Great. I got the job. You did? Thank goodness. I know you really wanted it. Yeah, I start on Monday. That's great. Congratulations. Three. Hey, happy birthday. Did you have a nice day? Yeah, thanks. I went out for lunch with some friends. You did? Nice. Four. Did you take your driver's test yesterday? Yeah, I failed. Oh, you did? I'm sorry to hear that. I can take it again next month, though. Yeah? Well, good luck. Okay, so here we have four different situations. And the instruction says, which conversations are about good news and which one are about bad news? Number one, is it about good news or bad news? Bad, bad news. news. Bad news. Good bad news. news. Why? What is the problem? But good news. Because, because, because he, he has, he has he's excited. Ah. One person is exhausted, 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 exhausted. and the other person yeah. has a cold. One person is exhausted and the other person had a cold. Okay, a cold, when you are like, ach, ach, and you have everything coming here and you feel terrible. No, in number two. Um, teacher, podemos decir they are sick. They are, oh, yeah, they are sick. Correct. Yeah, you can say that. They are sick. Number two, is it about good news or bad news? What do you think? Good, good news. news. Good, 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 good news. Good news? What happened? Uh, I guess. Got the, the Selena, she has an interview. Selena, Selena asked Adam about the interview. So, very good. Adam got the job. That's right. Adam got the job. Number three, is it about a good situation? Oh, fine. Terrible situation. Number three, number three? Good situation. Number three is birthday, the Google. It's a birthday, right? So it's something good. Good news. Exactly. How about number four? Good news is or bad, bad news? Bad news. Because Olivia she failed the exam. Failed. 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 Exactly. 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 Application news, but Olivia has a test driver. <laughs> this is the nightmare for everybody. This is a nightmare. Can you imagine you fail? I, I, I was always scared of this exam, but always. Okay, so now I'm going to give you five minutes, okay? Five minutes to practice the conversation with a partner. Practice the conversation with a partner. I send you the picture to the group in WhatsApp. So let's practice. Practice, practice, practice with a partner, okay? So let's see. No, it's okay like this. No, like this. Please, everybody, go. Practice the conversation. Five minutes. Something real quick. Practice the conversation. The four conversations.
La pueden ver ahí. Sí. sí. Sí, sí, se puede ver. You want to can let in Dennis with the first one. Just a yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, how did you interview at uh, the hospital? Uh, hospital group. Great. I got the job. For some friends. You did nice. Okay. Ay, está cortada. Espérenme. Está cortada. Ay, espérenme. A ver. Ok. Creo que ahí le dice, lo siento por, o sea, por. Uh, that's good news. Good Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Good news. Es como de tomar, ¿verdad? No, tow. Ahí está, teacher. ¿Qué es la pregunta? ¿Qué significa tow? ¿Qué es el significado de tow? I can take a game tow. next month. Tow. Ah, dog. I can take it again. Uh, it's like saying In the paragraph number forty. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh huh. It says, puedo, uh, aunque puedo tomar el otro mes. By that. But dog goes at the end. Aunque. Parecía un verbo. No. En pasa. Looks similar. Hello. Hello. What happened? Um, estaba en el grupo uno, but. With who are your classmates? Uh, I I'm alone. So in my ah, group, you were alone. Are... I know. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see now. Probably Esmeralda was your partner, but she. Hello, Esmeralda. Yeah. She has issues with the connection. Yes. Sí, tengo mal la conexión. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will send you an invitation to work with a partner. Okay. There you go. Byron. Let me see. What are you? Here. Ay, Byron. Tal vez no se sale, ¿no? No, no, I, yet. I, I, I'm here. Let me see Byron. But I, ah, here, 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 here. Okay, there you go. See you later. Yeah.
practice already? Finish. Yes, sí. Okay. Sí, sí, ya. Okay. Finish. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, practice with Esmeralda. Yes. Sorry, que me acaban de enviar la invitación. Percy en Esmeralda, number one and number two. Eh, Edmundo oh. en Esmeralda, número 3 y Okay, welcome, welcome back. So in these conversations, what we practice is this kind of expressions, right? When, when we have good news, when we have bad news, and that is the topic here. Appropriate responses. So it says, notice, notice how the people above respond to news. They use expressions like, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, for example, I have a cold all week. And then your answer is, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better. That's too bad. That's terrible. So you can use this kind of expressions to respond to good news or bad news. Let's practice together this exercise D. What do you have? I shared this picture in the in the group of WhatsApp if you want to have this information. It says here, write a response for each comment. Use ideas in the box. In the box, sorry. So we can use these ideas. Good luck. Happy birthday. Congratulations. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So how do you react to these situations? Uh, number one, for example, I have a job interview this week. What do you tell me? Mm, good luck. Good, uh, good luck. luck. That goodness. Good luck. Thanks, goodness. Thank goodness. Mm, thank goodness. Yeah, can be, can be, can be. But thank goodness. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness. 
this one shows a lot of surprise. It's like saying, thanks God, right? <laughs> thanks God. That is that is the meaning of thank goodness. <laughs> but in that case, it's like, I, I need money, right? I need money. So yeah, finally. Okay, so the next one. How about <laughs> number two? That is the meaning of thank goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Can you read the situation, Noah? What? Can you read the situation, please? I'm sorry. Excited. Exhausted. Exhausted. I'm exhausted. I have a terrible, terrible cold. I'm sorry to hear that, Noah. I'm sorry. Okay, the next one. Leonor, can you read number three, please? I lost my job last week. Hmm? I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Hear, hear, hear that. that. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. That, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> like in Spanish, right? Sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm sorry about my mistakes. All right, <laughs> next one. Let's see. I'm volunteer to read number four. Yeah, um, 21 oh. today. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hey, happy birthday, Ada! Adita, yes. 21. 21. Yes. 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 <laughs> I wish I was. Mercy, can you read number five? Ay, pero que me está burlando de mí. Tira la chancleta, Messi. Tírale la chancleta. Está burlando de mí. Throw the chancla, yes. Tírale la chancla. I pass my windows. Drivers. 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 Last week. Sería. Mira que se me está burlando. Fíjese lo que está haciendo. That is that that good. Sí, mire. Yeah, you can use thank goodness. This this is going to be Irwin's reaction. Irwin's reaction. Thank goodness. But if you tell me, teacher, I passed my driver's test last week. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. I need to hear when, to hear when say, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> my car. That is going oh, to be my, your reaction. My car, please. Your my car. car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that because of my car. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> you are bad. You are bad. <laughs> okay. Abigail, can you read number six, please? My sister had to go to the hospital, but she's okay. She's okay. She's okay. Thank goodness. What is the sent? I think. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. I am sorry to hear. Ah, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Teacher, what it is in Spanish? Goodness. Ah, esa palabra que usted está subrayando. Ah, thank goodness is like is like saying, gracias a Dios, thanks God. Ah. Thank goodness or Qué bueno cuando se qué bueno that's really really good. Mm. Okay, thank you. Yep, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay too in this case. All right. So reactions, right? How do you react to different situations? That is what we have here. Those expressions like I'm sorry, good luck, 
happy birthday, congratulations. Expressions like these are good when you are talking in English and in Spanish too, of course, right? Somebody tells you, hey, you know what? I got a present for my graduation or I graduated last, last week. So what is your reaction? Your reaction is like, oh, great. Congratulations or I'm happy for you. Empathy, right? This is about empathy, about showing some empathy to the other person, to be nice, right? So something similar is what we have after. Do you have any question about this? Do you understand the expressions, everything? It's clear, this? It's clear. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We almost finished. Just let's, let's take a look at the last part. Here, what do we have here? Something similar. When somebody is telling you something, and in, in this case, they are going to focus in the, in the past. If somebody tells you, hey, I passed my exam. I passed the TOEFL test, a really difficult exam. And then what is your reaction? You can say, you did? Really? So when you say you did, it says that you can say you did to show that you are interested or to show that you are surprised or just that you are listening, okay? Just to show some interest, to show that you are surprised or that you are listening to the other person. I passed the exam. You did? That's amazing. You did? Ah, really? Or you did? That's nice. Teacher, entonces, excuse yep. me. Entonces sería como decirle, eh, cuando decimos, you did, eh, lo hiciste, algo así. You did sería como, en serio, o de verdad. Ah, really? Really? ok, yo lo entiendo mejor. Ya no se ocupa ya como hacer o así. No, ya no, no, no. Uh, uh -huh. Podría también, o sea, podría significar lo hiciste, you did, pero si en, el, si en la oración uh -huh. dije hacer, es decir, yo hice, yo hice esto, de verdad lo hiciste, lo hiciste, really? But, <laughs> like, then another activity, let me see. Ah, I had a call all week, look at this. I had a cold all week. You did? It's like, are you, really? Are you okay? Do you feel good? After you say you did, mm. right? So it's like, de verdad, en serio. But that would be the mm. meaning here. You did. We are going to use you did when we talk about the past, of course, right? When we talk about the past. So let, let, look at this, in conversation, you can also say you did to show that you are listening. It's only an expression to show the other person that you are listening. Not necessarily to show surprise or to show interest, but to show the other person that you are paying attention to that person. It's like, oh, oh you did, mm, okay, nice. So you, you just show that you are listening to the other person. Look at this. Match the comments. Match the comments here with a response. Then listen and check. Help me. You can do it here in my screen. What, what do you think is the correct response? You can do it. Use your, use your tools to write on my screen. You do it, not me, okay? You can make a line, you can draw a letter. Do it here, please, help me. Help me, help me. What are the responses to this? Aha, uh -huh, we have a letter C here, very good. Help me, help me, help me to complete this exercise. You can oh, use your uh, you, you did? I went to new just look. Did you like the music? Uh, let's see, let's see. Two. Where, where? I, I went to a new a. job club last Thursday. Uh -huh. Option A. 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 Okay, very good. You did. 
You like the music? Did you like the music? Okay. Okay, you see, we have some lines, we have some letters, very good. Go to number three. Uh, e? Number three, letter E. Aha, uh -huh. letter three, we have the letter E. I invited some friends over to my house. Oh, you did? Nice. Did you cook dinner? Very good. Letter B is number four. And... <laughs> Teacher, ¿qué significa eso? Do you the short. La palabra chores. What the meaning? What the meaning of chores? What the meaning of chores, teacher? Ah, chores. chores. Activities Prison. at home. Activities at Prison, yes. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Activities at home, yes. Watch, oh, okay. What you do, Irwin? What you do? Wash the dishes, do the laundry, cook. <laughs> uh, because In the house. At the home, <laughs> your activities. <laughs> okay, let's listen. Listen and check if you are right. Listen and check. And this is the last activity. Okay. Page 103. <laughs> Two. Strategy plus. You did? A. Match each comment with a response. Write A to E. Then listen and check. One, I had a nice, relaxing day at the beach last weekend. You did? Did you go swimming? Two, I went to a new jazz club last Saturday. You did? Did you like the music? Three, I invited some friends over to my house last Friday night. You did? Nice. Did you cook dinner? Four. I stayed home on Sunday. Did you? Did you do chores? Five. I took my sister to a movie for her birthday. Did you? Did you see anything good? Okay, excellent. You answer correctly, guys. Very, very good job. We have the lines, we have the letters, so it was really, really good. Uh, I'm going to share with you some activities in the workbook where you can complete this, okay? Where you can practice, sorry, where you can practice this information for tomorrow. So let me check the attendance right now. Please say present. Please, please, please say present. Let's see. Alma Escobar? Present here. Ada Elizabeth Perez? Ay, si me escucho. Yes, sí, yes, Alma. Yes, thank you. Okay. Ada is the next one. Ada is coming back. Mm, let's see. Araceli de Rodas, absent. Byron Antonio Martinez. Byron. Adam. Ada is here again. Present, okay. present, present. Oh, thank you, Ada. Cecia Noah Lopez. Present. Eh, Dennis Leiva. Present. Edwin Najo. De ayer. <laughs> Giovanni Méndez. Present. Giselle Mengíbar. Present. Guadalupe Colocho. Present, teacher. Irwin Oswaldo Franco. Present, teacher. Jonathan Román. Present, teacher. Mariana Rivas. Present. Jamilet Mejía. Teacher. Present teacher. Katy, thank you. Katia Vanessa Hernández. Mm, María Beatriz Sánchez. Present. María Mercedes Ramos. Present. Miss. María Nicole Enríquez, thank you. Present teacher. Mauricio Denise Vialta. Thank you. Present. Oscar Oswaldo Martinez. Present. 
Rebeca Esther Sixco. Present. Reina Esmeralda. Present. And Leonor Escobar. Present. Thank you. Okay, now everybody smile. For the screenshot. Say cheese. <laughs> Giovanni, I mentioned your name, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, number one, screen number one, got it. The screen number two, Dennis, Dennis, your camera. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Very nice smile. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Bye. you too. Bye. Work on the quiz if you didn't finish. Evitar ver el chat directamente.